year later, you know, last year you were going through all the draft process. How stressful was it kind of looking back on it, uh, going through the combine, working out for these teams, trying to figure out where your NFL home was going to be? Uh, now, where I'm at now, I definitely say it was pretty stressful coming in. I had a lot on my plate, as obviously number one overall, and just high expectations of myself. But now I feel like I've kind of got to a mental standpoint to where I kind of know how my, I can structure my schedule throughout the season, throughout just as things lead up. And I feel like I can make the best out of my time that way and not be pulled in different directions like I would. Was there something last year, I know last with, with the draft process and kind of be a whirlwind, you don't get a whole lot of time to actually work on football. Uh, is that kind of the hardest part about getting ready for everything is you know you have a season around the corner, but you're doing all these drills that aren't necessarily sport specific? <laughs> um, I wouldn't say it's a too bad of a transition because mainly like the drills that you do for the combine is basically like your indie type drills, position specific. But like it does take away a little, little of the time that you want to work on to just creep, like iron out some of the creases that you have in your game. From like for me, it'll be some of my moves, just staying sharp on some of my moves. I wasn't able to work on it how I was this offseason. So this offseason, I obviously had more time to train and prep for things like that. But I feel like it's, it's not too big of a transition because it's still work that you have. You go put in that individual position work anyways too so is it a lot more fun this year to be watching some of your guys like Jalen Carter and Nolan Smith going through this draft process from the outside looking in as opposed to going through it it's definitely exciting seeing those guys go through it because I know what it takes like during that process it's a long process so just to see the smiles on their face and to see them so close to achieving a goal that they worked their whole life for it really means a lot so last year you chose to not attend the draft and, and watch it instead with close friends family in Atlanta uh, Looking back at it, you still say that was the right decision? Uh, most definitely, 100%. Uh, me personally, you can't go wrong with being around people who genuinely care about you. Once, if you have those people in your corner, you don't need anybody else to pat you on your back doing that. As long as I got the people who was there for me since day one, then I know I'll be good because I know they, they've been through the thick and thin with me. Now that you've kind of gone through everything, you've got a year under your belt, was there anything that you would have told yourself a year ago like to help for like advice or anything? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, me, I'll just say hear a little, hear a lot, because so many, being at that position, like I was hearing so many voices come from different directions, just knowing like what to listen for and things like that, because some things you can apply, but like it depends on like who your coach is or whatever. You can be pulled in so many different directions to where you just basically find yourself thinking a lot and that just throws the whole game off. Are you tired of hearing people compare you to another player that I'm not even going to bring up right now? I mean, obviously I'm tired of hearing about it, but like, I mean, it's just a part of the game. It's always going to be some type of comparison. It wouldn't be media, wouldn't be media without those controversy things like that. But it's just all a part of the game. I want everybody to be great, but in the end, obviously, Obviously, I'm going to bet on myself with whatever the bet is. All right, now you're getting ready for your second year. How do you feel now as you kind of start to, to, I guess, crank things up as you get ready to go through the process again? I feel a lot more comfortable for the simple fact of, like, I know I, coming in before OTAs, I kind of had an idea of how the defense would still be, how it be ran. And uh, it just, with that, with me coming in, knowing, like, the scheme already a little bit and have played for Coach Carl, where I feel like, I'll be able to play a lot faster this year because cause a lot of the things that I was just learning last year, I have that under my belt, so now I can just iron out the wrinkles. Did you have a welcome to the NFL moment? Some guys talk about you get out there and you realize that it, the game a little bit different. You've been playing football all your life. Was there like one moment where you're like, oh, okay, this is different? <laughs> um, I have to say, I wouldn't say it was totally different, but that Washington game, I had like some adjustments that I had to overcome within the game from like the sets of a tackle just realizing like coming from college I didn't have a tackle or a guard change up how they set me throughout the game so that's probably one of my biggest adjustments that oh like you plan to get real grown men now guys who savvy vets real savvy vets that played for a long time and able to switch it up within the game and not week by week now that you kind of had a chance to look back at some of that stuff do you I guess, are you more prepared to be able to deal with it as they kind of change their set, you change how you attack them? I definitely say I am for the simple fact that, like I said, I've already been through it and I've watched film enough now to know within the game 
how like what sets he may give me within the game or, he, or obviously he's going to change up something within the game just to keep me off balance so I should do the same as well. You start setting expectations or your goals for this season for yourself? Uh, see so for this year I might try a little something different just because like I, setting goals everybody set goals but I feel like if you set a goal and you don't reach it <clears throat> then some people kind of can't get down on themselves but like I just say if you don't set a goal and shoot for the start, I mean, you go hit every goal that you want to accomplish within that. Um, one of the big things, obviously, is last year the team made the run toward the playoffs, right? Uh, I know you guys want to be able to build off that success and, you know, finish the year with a win. Only one team can do that each year. Uh, the culture has been kind of the buzz thing. You know, the locker room is different. I mean, I've been here for a few years. Last year the locker room was completely different than it has been. Uh, how important are these workouts for you guys to start to come together to, to become that team so you can get there? You won a championship in college. I'm sure that was a pretty close-knit group, and that, that plays a part, right? So, like, for me, yeah, I feel like coming from college and last year I didn't really get to experience the spring feel besides, like, when I first got here, but I didn't get to feel like that full spring. I feel like the spring is where you build that, that bond of working. We work out together all the time and, and meeting. So I feel like at that time you face a lot of more adversity than you would in the season per se with like your workouts or how hard a workout is. Like a workout could be hard and you have your teammates. Some of them, just say for instance, somebody may be tired. That's when you go over, pick your teammate up. And I feel like that's how you build that, that bond within each other that you have to have in order to win a game or for, in order for that guy beside you to have that trust in you that you'll do it when those lights come on on Sunday. Have you done anything different this offseason to prepare to, to, to change your game at all? I wouldn't say I've done anything different, but I probably add, I added some things into my workout. Oh, you got some things to surprise yes, people without the Yes, sir, field. most definitely. <laughs> all right, my last thing. You, you win number one overall. Uh, do you have any advice for whoever that first pick is going to be this year? I mean, you've been there, you've lived it, you walked it, you were on the team with the guy, Trevor Lawrence, who could kind of give you that advice. You won't be teammates with this one. If you had any advice to whoever that pick is, what would it be? I just have to say control the controllable. Mainly with, with me saying that, control the controllable, like do everything in your power to control what you do. Don't try to control what other people have to say about you or whatever. Just go out, handle your business, do whatever you need to do to be the best version of yourself on and off the field. So that's probably my biggest one. And like I said a little earlier, you're going to hear so much, you're going to hear a lot of things, but with all those things, it's just like those little pieces that you take from whatever you're hearing.